one, Bob Martin with rcsub.com and the Nautilus Dry Docks. And uh, here's a little quick project I uh, wanted to show you. Uh, this is a, a rebuild of a, a d &E Miniatures watertight cylinder. And what actually ended up happening with this is uh, the owner sent it back to me because he had a catastrophic failure of his uh, Mtronics Supermarine 15 electronic speed controller. You can see that does not look exceptionally good. I have actually had this personally happen to me uh, about three times. Um, really don't like these speed controllers. Uh, they went through a bad batch and even if it's rectified now I just kinda got a bad taste in my mouth uh, from those. But it, what ended up happening is it uh, exploded inside. You can see some nice melty spots on his uh, cylinder. Now it did not compromise the integrity uh, of the cylinder so he's in good shape. Um, but what it did actually end up entailing is kind of rebuilding things and straightening them out. There was some warping that was going on inside there. But now that I've got this out, I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you uh, how this particular cylinder, uh, you know, kind of works. So let me grab my um, radio here that I've paired it to. Okay. So the way that this is set up, there is no, um, you know, on-off switch or anything like that. Connect the uh, battery, and you've got power to the cylinder. So in this particular case, I've got a four-amp <coughs> lithium polymer battery. So with uh, cylinders uh, and most electronics for radio control, power always goes on with your transmitter first. We'll hook up our cylinder power. So we've got uh, a few different things uh, going on there. We can start with our, uh, our throttle. Forward and reverse. And this is a really neat uh, kind of a solid state um, electronic speed controller mounted underneath. You can hear a relay click in for forward and reverse. Um, seems pretty good so far. The one kind of uh, detriment to it is it doesn't feed power to the receiver like most modern speed controllers do. So what that actually required was the addition of a little um, voltage regulator in there, uh, or some people call it a battery eliminator uh, circuit. So that's just right there, and that just takes the 12 volts and it converts it to 5 volts uh, for the receiver. Um, so that was our... Um, throttle. So we've got uh, rudder control here and uh, pitch control and you can see that that is on an auto leveling device in there. And then the last thing is the, um, the ballast control. And if we take a look at that, And this was kind of an ingenious little system that uh, Dave Merriman came up with, and this, this is called a gas saver. So the way that this works is when the tank is empty, it moves the, uh, the paddle away from the valve just enough that it won't depress. So therefore, if the tank is empty, you can't continue venting um, gas into the ballast tank, and that saves uh, gas, obviously. Uh, but when it's um, you know, partially full, it tips it forward, paddle goes forward, and you can vent uh, into the tank or blow into the tank, I suppose would be the, the right term. So the other thing that this uh, particular cylinder has is a fail-safe device. So I'm going to turn off my radio here, and it's going to be a seven-second delay, and it's going to blow the tank, theoretically. And there we go. So in the case of a loss of signal, turn the radio back on, the model will automatically blow ballast and uh, bring the model back up to the surface. Uh, like I said, the, the refurbishment of this cylinder um, you know, entailed a few different things, um, and not the least of which was actually replacing the actual motor itself, which for whatever reason spun the 
uh, shaft that, that uh, came loose and I was not able to repair it. But you can see a lot of you know, corrosion. That speed controller was venting that gas and uh, hot, hot plasma right onto the motor. So unfortunately this guy is shot. New motor in there, uh, brand new motor. Everything is functioning properly and uh, hopefully the owner gets back in the water soon. So thanks for uh, taking a look at this uh, little side project of mine and we will catch you next time.